Hello, Nomad Sculpt, and this video is about the symmetry on the object or the mirror on the object. So I record this video with version 178. Okay, let's see. So the symmetry you find here a menu in the top menu, um, option here, symmetry menu. And also on the side menu, here's a symmetry button. This is a shortcut button here. And this button is locked with the enabled button or checkbox here. So when you deselect it here, it's deselected on the side menu and so on. So the other thing is here, you see symmetry plane text. And this object is now active. So when I switch to the uh, other object, the sphere here, you see here symmetry sphere. And when I select the cylinder, it's symmetry on the cylinder. This uh, menu here is only for the object itself, one object which is selected. So I use now here the solo view for this one. And you see here, you have planes and radial symmetry. Now we uh, look at the planes. Um, at the moment, the red X plane is active and you see here a red line on the object. And I choose now our other tool here, the clay tool. And you see here also here a small disk in the center when you rotate the object. Here in the advanced settings, you see here the option to show the line and to show the plane. So let's deselect both and leave the symmetry menu. Nothing here is visible, no line and no disk. And when you activate the checkboxes and you leave the menu, you see here your plane and your line. So, okay, so, the planes here, you can change the planes. You see here now the green plane is active and the disc here or the set. Here this one. You can activate all together or only two here like you want. So now our clay tool here is active and everything we sculpt here on the object now is mirrored on the green line. So make the radius a little bit smaller. So when we brush here, you see it's mirrored on the green plane. And now the red X plane is active, so everything is mirrored on this red plane. When we activate both the Y and the X, now when we brush here, we get something like this. And when we activate the set plane, we get something like this. Okay, and it works also with, um, with other tools here. I use now the move brush, where is it here? So here in the symmetry, now all planes are active. And when I move here out the mesh, it creates something like this. Okay, the next thing is the radial symmetry here. So we have uh, three colors, red, green and blue. And when you look at the gizmo, you see here the rings, the red ring, the blue ring and the green ring. So when you change here the value of the radial X, 
you see here, let's choose a clay brush. Um, we have a value of eight and now on the sphere, eight cursors uh, of your brush tool appear and you can now sculpt like this. And you can combine this with the planes. So for example, you activate the X plane and brush now like this. Okay, and here with the radial symmetry, be careful because you can activate uh, multiple um, radial symmetries. So, and when you when you brush now on the whole sphere uh, are so much brush cursors, and the higher the value, the more problems you get. Um, okay. The next thing is the method. So I leave the solo view and here the method you see it's uh, possible to use a local symmetry or world symmetry. Here you see at the moment the method is local and I switch to the to the box and now you see here the local symmetry and when I change here, here is the, is the local symmetry and now I switch to the world symmetry. And you see now the center of the symmetry is here in the world center. You see here a red plane or a line on the object, but when I activate the green one, there's no green line here. When I switch back to local, you see here the green line on the side. But with world, there's no symmetry on the object. So it's important to know because when you move your object, now you see here the green line appears on your object here. You see it here. And when I use now the X symmetry in world mode and I move the object here, the symmetry stays in this position, but the, the object center is here. So when you use now um, a tool, it mirrors on this plane here and not on the local plane like this here. It's important to, uh, to look at the symmetry where it is, uh, that it works correct. So the next thing is here the mirroring itself. I use now the solo view and we use uh, the sphere. There are tools that have uh, no option for the symmetry. This is the split tool here and the side menu you there is no symmetry option and here symmetry on the sphere the cur current tool ignores symmetry. So when we use now here the tool the split option I split this and I delete this part and here in the symmetry, there is an option for mirroring. So you can use here, uh, try to apply symmetry without impacting the topology and so on. You can read it. So now we mirror the, on the red plane here from right to the left. So we press there comes uh, information, um, there's no symmetry detected, but we can enforce the symmetry and press yes. So now our object is mirrored from the left or from the right to the left. So, 
Okay. Yeah, there's an option for the, uh, for masked areas. You can try what happens. So, okay. The next thing here is the flip the object. At the moment, the X plane is active. Here you see it, the red plane is active. And when you flip your object on this plane, nothing happens because uh, left side is the same as right side. So when you change now the plane to the green direction here, now it's in this direction. So now when you flip your object, yeah, this happens. Okay. So the next here is a reset object center and orientation. Sometimes um, the symmetry is not correct on your object. Um, so th in this, um, yeah, here it's correct, but you can change your symmetry. Here the last point here is a, a experimental uh, thing. Um, you can try it. So here it's possible to change your symmetry planes uh, or position. So here you can rotate the symmetry you see here it's now not aligned anymore to the object and now you can try to uh, reset the orientation and the object center with the reset function. So as I said this option is for yeah, advanced users I think. Okay. So I think this is the most you can do with a symmetry menu. <laughs> okay, um, have fun with, sculpt with sculpting and ciao.